representation of the 16th district here. Um, I'm going to give each a few minutes to speak, and I guess Donna, you're up first. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, we're so proud to be here. We're so proud to represent South Brunswick. Donna, thank you so much. When we met Donna, she was a breath of fresh air. Uh, she had some issues, and we, she knows that uh, with good representation, we are there, we are responsive. We take it very seriously what we do. And it was such a pleasure to have you. Thank you for this gorgeous place. This is just your awesome. It's worth it. It is so 
children and our future generations, it is absolutely worth the fight for. So you know that you can count on us. We are here for you. We are here for South Brunswick and our district. So thank you so much for being here. Um, and can we tell you how much we appreciate it? Uh, two other folks I just want to call attention to. Uh, one is uh, another prominent Republican here in South Brunswick that's been very helpful to us, John Chicente. Yeah. Yeah. You can see John is a customer of the Bell Salon. And yeah. you look, you look <laughs> I have a special discount. I know you <laughs> another person who's truly the first customer of the Bell Salon is to pick those mother, Francesca. Yeah. Does she look beautiful? There she is, right? Personally, it looks fantastic. So we remember when Donna was first open, it was right at the height of the recession. It takes a lot of courage to go into business for oneself. Hello, John Sullivan. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you, Donna. Sir. And uh, it takes a lot of courage to go into business for yourself, especially if you're in the midst of a recession. You've done it. And you're going to be successful. You're here every day. She's got employees. Small business is the backbone of New Jersey's economy. So we wish you well. And what we've said from the outset is we're here to help you. We work in partnership with you to do all we can to make sure that your business succeeds. Uh, on that note, property taxes. It's well known that property taxes are the highest in New Jersey. They're higher than in any other state. Donna doesn't own this strip mall yet, but <laughs> her rent is a function of a lot of different things, one of which is the property taxes the landlord pays on this building. The property tax is a tax that affects all of us in one way or another. It's the most punitive of all taxes on senior citizens. Because when they get to that stage in their life when they're on a fixed income, what's happening to the property tax every year, even with the 2% cap? It's still increasing. It's a very, very punitive tax. South Brunswick is a district that sends over $50 million a year in income taxes to Trent. It gets back less than 50 cents on the dollar for its schools. That's something Donna and I are working on. We're working on changing the school funding plan. We've also worked with the mayor and council here on the Route 1 corridor, on DEP issues, and on commercial development. So. We work with the mayor and council of every one of our 14 towns very, very closely to make sure that there's the perfect kind of quality of life environment for citizens and the perfect kind of business environment for businesses. That's what we should be doing as elected officials and we concentrate on that every single day. I do sense a pendulum swing or a mood change in New Jersey. I really do. I think people know that the old policies are not working. They realize that this is a state with the highest property taxes in the nation, one of the highest income taxes in the nation, the highest sales tax rate in the nation, right? We're also one of only 16 states with an estate tax, so that when Donna goes to sell her business, she's going to get creamed. We're one of only two states in the unit that has an estate tax and a transfer inheritance tax. There's a number of different proposals that Donna and I have submitted that address these challenges. We don't just want New Jersey to be a place where people want to work and live, but also retire. Retire. Right, Francesca? We're not kidding. So, but the rates are going to come down with the taxes. The right. senior citizens, because we don't have children that go to school. Right? We are still paying income. Right. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm not voting for Donna. I'm voting for her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Today is all about uh, the beginning of a nine-month campaign to communicate a message to our district, all 14 towns, all 220,000 citizens that live and work in it, that we're all about doing what's necessary to make New Jersey better. And we're looking to have that message communicated throughout the state. I really think there's a real opportunity again here to take advantage of the pendulum swing, the mood swing that's taking place. Uh, Don and I feel very, very strongly about that. I'll conclude by uh, sharing a quote from my favorite president, some consider our greatest president, and our first Republican president. We'll celebrate his birthday in a couple weeks, Abraham Lincoln. He once said, I have great faith in the people. Give them the facts, and they'll do the right thing every single time. Don and I will be taking a very factual message to each and every one of our citizens throughout the 16th district over the course of the next nine months. And when you do that, things usually work out really, really well. And with your help, we know it will on election day. So thank you all again for being here. Thank you for your generosity and your Thank you. Thank you.